During a brief ceremony, the keys to the newly refurbished building were handed over to Punta Gorda Mayor Anthony Fuentes by the project contractor Stephen Coleman of Coleman Construction Limited. Present at the event were PG Deputy Mayor Martin Paulino, Councillor Waylon Parham, and Social Officer for the Belize Municipal Project Evan Dakers, who was here with a checklist related to work leading to the completion of the project. I'm here along with one of my colleagues, Mr. Francisco Gonzalez, who is an engineer. I am the social officer for the Belize Municipal Development Project. And um, what we are planning to do is to go through a checklist of items that were outstanding with the contractor, Mr. Stephen Coleman. And after we are satisfied that all the outstanding commitments have been met, then we'll have a formal handing over of the buildings from the contractor to the Punta Gorda Town Council. Um, as you know, we will be meeting with Mayor Anthony Fuentes and some of his councillors. Of course, we also have members of the Project Monitoring Committee, which is headed by Mr. Anthony Nicasio. Dakers commented that costing of some $433,000 for the refurbished Punta Gorda Town Hall and Administration Building Project was financed through a loan negotiated between the Government of Belize and the World Bank. Upon receiving the keys, Punta Gorda Mayor Anthony Fuentes commented on plans for the use of the new refurbished building. The keys was officially given to um, myself as Mayor of Punta Gorda Town for the renovated building of the Punta Gorda Town Council. Um, officially, we'll be moving over to our building on the 11th of um, September. And so all services offered by the Punta Gorda Town Council will be given from our main office. This is a newly, is a renovated building and um, it should be used to create more services for the people of Punta Gorda Town. And rest assured that we will take care of our renovated Town Council office and our administrative building. Mayor Fuentes and others who need the use of the building look forward to moving in and putting the entire building into best and appropriate use for Punta Gorda and Toledo inhabitants. Reporting for Love News, Paul Mahone, Punta Gorda.